A four-year-old boy left alone in a stairwell, and his outraged mother says school workers left him there as a punishment for behaving badly. CBS 2's Tracy Carrasco is live at East Harlem, where the mother says it's the school that's out of line. Tracy? Christine, this cruel punishment was caught on camera by a concerned staff member here at PS 198 after finding the little boy alone in a room full of garbage. Tonight, his mother wants the school to answer for their actions. Cell phone video taken inside PS 198 shows a four year old pre kindergarten student alone, unsupervised in a stairwell, playing with piles of trash. The little boy's mother, Fatima Sapio, claims this isolation is punishment for her son's bad behavior, but it's gone too far and at times has even gotten physical. The paraprofessional has dragged him down the stairs, has put, pinned him against a wall with his arms pinned against the wall, and he stated to me, Mommy, my arms was hurting. Scipio says she found out this harsh punishment has been going on for the last three weeks after the video was taken by a school employee disturbed by the boy's treatment. And if this mom had done that in her apartment building and put her son in that stairwell, guess where she'd be right now? In jail. Scipio claims she's had issues with the school since last November over her son's behavior, but hasn't gotten anywhere. I get numerous of phone calls each and every day that my son has spit, kicked, and did all of these things. And I have asked the school, what are you guys doing to my child while he's in this school? What is the reason for him to behave in this manner? Because my child does not behave in this manner in no shape or form at home at all. Now, Scipio, along with the family's lawyer and community activist Tony Herbert, demanding the school answer for its actions. If this is happening, and not only happening to this child and other kids, then we need very much to make sure that. That whoever's doing it is no longer working in the school system. A spokesperson for the Department of Education tells us their top priority is keeping all students safe. They say they are investigating this alarming allegation and taking swift action. Guidance counselors and social workers will be on hand here at school tomorrow. We're live tonight from East Harlem. Tracy Carrasco, CBS 2 News. All right, Tracy, thank you.